Hello and welcome back guys and girls to another Dead by Daylight killer tutorial. Today we're going to do a guide on the Legion. The Legion is another killer I have an old guide on, however that was early in my channel's history so needed a much needed rework. The Legion are a collection of killers so forgive me if I say he or she and not them, but without further ado let's dive straight into the Legion tutorial. The Legion is from a Darkness Among Us chapter and this was released in the game in December 2018 so they have been around for a while. If you were to buy the DLC he comes with Jeff Johansson and he has some interesting perk. I would always definitely recommend buying the full DLC if you can afford to do that or you can just buy the killer individually. The Legions are average sized killers and the group consists of Frank, Julie, Susie and Joy. The legions have a movement speed of 115% of 4.6 meters per second. They have a terror radius of 32 meters, so all pretty standard so far. Their powers and perks are all about applying multiple injures and keeping the survivors mending and healing instead of doing gen. So let's take a look at the perks and powers. Okay, so looking at the legions perks first, as always the killer has three teachable perks. These three perks are Discordance, Mad Grit and Iron Maiden. Discordance is an excellent tracking perk that I would certainly recommend if you're new to the game. Discordance alerts you when two or more survivors are working on a generator. This will allow you to find and interrupt the survivors and inflict the wounded and injured status on them. Mad Grit is the Legion's second perk and this allows you to carry a survivor and suffer no cooldown or missed attacks. If you successfully hit another survivor, the wiggle timer will pause by 2, 3 or 4 seconds. The Legion's last perk is Iron Maiden. Any survivor who exits a locker suffer from the exposed effect for 30 seconds and their location is revealed to you for 4 seconds. Let's talk about the Legion's power now. The Legion's power is called Feral Frenzy and this is activated by pressing the relevant power button once your power gauge is full and activating the Frenzy. The Legion will have their speed increased to 5.2 meters per second and have access to quicker pallet vaults as well as having the ability to inflict the Feral Slash. If you are at the vault during Feral Frenzy, this will be reduced to 0.9 seconds on pallets and windows. The Feral Slash will not only put a survivor into the injured state, it will also inflict the deep wound status. As well as these powers, all survivors in the Legion's terror radius will also have the location revealed by a killer instinct. This killer instinct is basically a heartbeat and a screen indicator that will pinpoint you and get you heading quickly in the right direction. It's also good to know that the survivors who hide in lockers will still have the killer detection shown, so there is no hiding from this. If you hit a survivor that has already got the deep wound status, or if you miss your attack, then you will lose the Feral Frenzy and you have a cooldown of 4 seconds as standard. If you are playing and attacking without the frenzy, then every hit you inflict on survivor will deplete the gauge by 50%. The frenzy is standard the last 10 seconds, however once you hit survivor with it, then it will reset so filling up the gauge again to continue the frenzy, giving you the opportunity to go and try to get all 4 survivors depending on their location. When you are in frenzy, your field of view is increased by 15 degrees, whilst your terror radius is also increased by 8 meters during that frenzy. Once you have depleted your power gauge then it's going to take around 20 seconds to completely refill it again. One thing that people don't realise is you can actually cancel a frenzy anytime you want and this is something that I don't see very often. But I will discuss that further in how to use the Legion's powers effectively. If you do hit the survivor then as standard that survivor is going to take 12 seconds to mend themselves. If the survivors aren't in chase and they don't mend themselves then they will enter the dying state. Another survivor mending you will save the survivors a bit of time taking the time required from 12 seconds down to around 8 seconds to fully mend. How do we use the legion's powers? Alright so you understand his powers but what is the best way to utilise it? There is a number of things you should understand when you play as legion to maximise his potential and make him a very dangerous killer to your survivors. The number one tip for me is knowing when you're frenzy. It's important that you maximise your frenzy as much as possible. Don't forget you gain a speed increase when in frenzy, but you don't want to be wasting your powers searching for survivors. Find the survivors first, make sure you're in the clear to get that first stab using the frenzy. Don't forget you have 10 seconds in frenzy, so you don't want to run out before you get the first stab. Second tip is to utilise the information. The Legion's Feral Frenzy will provide you with tons of information during and even after the use. Once you get your first tab, then that will provide you with the information providing the survivors in your terror radius of the rest of their location. The Killer Instinct will give you second by second account of what the survivors are doing. You hear and see a couple of heartbeats next to a generator, they are fixing a gen. You see 
the killer instinct running towards the hook, someone is going for the save. Make sure you learn as much as possible. If your killer instinct doesn't go off after you get the first stab, then you know survives are outside your terror radius. But you will learn exactly what is happening. You can also see after the feral frenzy what is happening by keeping your eye on the survivor's action. If they are multiple healing, then you will have a rough idea where on the map they are, giving you all the information you need to keep that pressure on them. My third tip is utilise your speed when using the frenzy option. It's not unheard of to sometimes utilise your speed advantage to get from one area to another, but be quite selective with this because of the cooldown. I have used frenzy for speed when I have known that survivors are pushing for a gen and it's critical that I get there over there quickly. Same situation when I'm trying to reach an exit gate quickly after getting that first hit, but always remember when you are doing it to account for the cooldown on exit in the frenzy. My fourth tip is you can cancel your frenzy at any time and this is something that should happen often especially if you're playing a good team who are going to split up against you. When you get your first hit with frenzy you will be absorbing a lot of information and you engage on the map whether you can stay, make a hit or not. You can also stab a survivor and they sometimes have the audacity to just start healing in front of you or carrying on with gens. If you come across this and the survivor is in no man's land then please cancel a frenzy, get the down if needs be. Likewise, if the survivors are too far away, then don't be afraid to cancel your frenzy. This is going to reduce the cooldown power required, so preserve some of your power gauge for the next time. My fifth tip is pallet stuns are something you will either want to avoid if you're waiting on getting your first hit or something you might actually welcome. I know you might think it's strange welcoming a pallet stun, but pallet stuns whilst in frenzy are actually shorter in time than cancelling your frenzy. So getting a pallet stun after you've just been stabbed, will take out the frenzy and ready to down that survivor. The survivors will try to man game a pallet, so sometimes expecting the pallets isn't a bad thing to do, especially if it's your first stab or you're planning on taking the rest of the team out. Making sure the survivors drop the pallet for you to vault is a good option because the legion jumps over the pallets in no time. One thing to look out for though guys is that the legion does have a bit of a lunge distance when vaulting, so watch out for sneaky survivors trying to take advantage of that and cutting you off coming back to the vault to vault it back the way you came. This can be a bit confusing but you will spot it in games. Talking about pallets and vaults, another good trick with the legions to learn how to block the survivor's path. If you get a frenzy stab and continue running past the survivor, you might be able to utilise a body block to keep that survivor away from vaults and pallets whilst you are cooling down. It's quite simple and an effective method to master and allows you to dictate a survivor's pattern, enabling you to get that down a bit quicker. If you are blocking that area and the survivor can't get past you, leaving them at your mercy. Tip number seven, nice and simple, you lose the frenzy if you miss the attack, so be careful and watch out for survivor perks, especially sprint burst, that will potentially catch you off guard and make you miss your swing and lose your frenzy. My final tip is utilise your longer lunge when you are running out of time in your frenzy. Keep an eye out on the power bar and just as it's about to run out, then press the attack button to extend it slightly and your lunge. And you never know, you might get that last second hit, extending your frenzy for a bit longer for the next survivor. You can also use this longer lunge to help you block their path so stand in front of pallets or windows to make sure the survivor doesn't access it. That's about it for the legion tips and tricks, I know it's a lot of information but the legion is one of my favourite killers to play, they just feel great, have great cosmetics and you can have a lot of fun with them so let's take a look at the legion's add-ons. Okay so we're going to look at the add-ons and what their purpose is. So the first lot of add-ons we're going to look at are the brown ones. We have the smiley pin face. This is going to make any survivors hit after they were highlighted by the killer instinct have a blindness status effect for 60 seconds. Scratch ruler is going to reduce the feral frenzy recovery time. Mischief list will slightly increase the feral frenzy duration and finally the friendship bracelet will increase the killer detection range. Yellow add-ons, never sleep pills, this will moderately increase your killer detection range. Muriel sketch will increase your feral frenzy duration. Julie's mixtape is going to decrease your feral frenzy cooldown. Etch ruler will reduce your feral frenzy recovery time. The deface smiley pin will apply the mangle status. This basically increases the time to heal by 20 seconds to survivors hit while they had the killer detection applied until they are fully healed. The green add-on start with the legion pin which puts the survivor in the broken status for 60 seconds after they've been hit once they've been highlighted by the killer instinct. Susie's mixtape considerably increases the killer instinct detection range. Stolen sketchbook will increase feral frenzy duration. Nasty blade's going to increase the survivor's men in time. 
Joy's mixtape is going to decrease the cooldown of Frail Frenzy. Now let's move on to the purple add-ons. Stab Wounds Study will reduce the Deep Wounds timer for all survivors. Frank's mixtape will allow Frail Frenzy to reduce the survivor Deep Wound timer. Filthy Blade is going to increase the survivor's mending time. And finally Cold Dirt will increase the cooldown from Feral Frenzy. Let's move on to the Iridescent add-ons now and the Legions have the following. The Iridescent button, adding this to your add-ons will ensure that your Terror Radius is going to affect the entire map making those survivors twitchy about your whereabout, but also allows the Legions to immediately break a pallet when vaulting them. The Fuman mixtape is an information add-on and adding this will allow you to see when in Frenzy the repair progress of generators by seeing the intensity of their auras. Hope that helps you understand Legion's add-on, so let's take a look now at the recommended perks for the Legion. As always, I am going to highlight some recommended perks that work effectively with the Legion, and you can make a build out of it however you please, and to make sure it complements your playstyle. Discordance is the first one, it's a fantastic perk for Legion, and it is a Legion perk, so you don't have to grind forever trying to get it. Discordance is going to give you an alert when two or more survivors are on a gen, great for early game starts, and also complements the Legion powers, giving you information when at least two survivors are grouping for you to go and stab them. Pop Goes the Weasel is another popular choice for the Legions. You get 25% regression after you kick a gen after a survivor has been hooked. It's action that's needed when you're out of Legion undoing the survivor's hard work. Surge. This is slowly becoming one of my favourite regression perks for the Legion and it's a teachable demagogue perk. Surge will activate when you put a survivor in a dying state with a basic attack. Once it's activated, it will cause all generators in a 32 meter radius to explode and begin regressing. It's going to instantly regress 8% of the progress, but unlike Pop, it will allow you to save time and continue on the chase instead of kicking gens. Thanatophobia is another perk I like to run in a Legion. This is a nurse teachable, and basically, for each survivor injured, dying, or hooked, there will be a stackable penalty of up to 5%. So if you have all four survivors injured, you will have a 20% penalty on survivors on gen repair. This I find extremely useful on survivors as this is going to force them to heal or face the consequences of not only being slowed in gen repairs but also at the mercy of being one hit down if they stay injured. If they do decide to all heal it's not the end of the world because that's going to eat up time in them doing the gen so all's good. If they do decide they want to heal up then you can use Nurse's Calling. It's another Nurse Teachable. If you stack us with Thanatophobia then you can catch out survivors that decide to heal because you're going to be able to see any healing survivors for up to 28 metres. Hex Ruin and Undyne are a popular combination on Legion 2, but this goes well same because it's popular on all killers. But it does give you a little option and when you go on the frenzy survivors might press Shift W and run as far away as possible to waste your time, giving Ruin and Undyne the perfect time to regress the gens, allowing you to focus on the chase. Sloppy Butcher, again as a killer that is aimed at getting multiple hits on survivors, Sloppy Butcher paired with Thanatophobia will waste some of their survivors time, ensure they're spending longer healing than repairing. Finally, Enduring. This perk synergizes well with the Legion if you are struggling with the chase aspects because as well as recovering quickly from pallets, and as I said earlier in the guide, being pallet stunned while in Frenzy is going to reduce your stun, add Enduring onto that, that's also going to take some time off. Okay, so that's the perks that I would recommend guys. Hope this whole guide makes sense, and as always, feel free to comment below. Drop me a message in my Discord server and let me know how you found this guide. The Legions are a lot of fun to play, you can, if if you play them right or her right you will have fun and you can hold your own against survivors I'm not saying to hold your own against all of them because in my opinion there's mainly three viable killers legion isn't one of them however you can have a lot of fun with this character i'm gonna play the gameplay now show you the legion in action hopefully show you some of the tips that i've mentioned so hope you enjoy the gameplay i'm gonna switch over to commentary now Alright, Banham's Preschool 2, Springwood. I'm playing as Legion. I'm not a fan of this map. I am with certain kills, but definitely not Legion. The build I'm using, Thana, Nurse's Calling, Surge, and Discordance. Alright, so something's happening over there. Is it a distraction of some sort? 
scratch marks to my left, but I'm trying to make sure we're not hanging around this gen. Pretty negative, but I am eyeing up the gens that are close to each other. There's five gens close to each other, two that I'm not particularly bothered about. I suppose size-wise this map's not too bad, but right, let's go see if we can bother some survivors. And we have scratch marks here, we've got a Jane at the back there, so we'll give her a little clip. Jane, you have that, right? Claudette with a nice fancy hat on. Get a hit on her, she went towards me, trying to put me off. Take that. Right, I'm going to stand, try to get in front of this, I think, the speed boost. No, I did try to block the pallet, but the speed boost uh, pushed it past me. Right. Just around here. What's this? Yep. Yeah. Right, she's hanging around. I was going to fake that. Put the hit there. Oh, of course. Of course, dead ad. Why didn't I bait that? Right, she's not going anywhere anyway, so she, down she goes. No sedge, so nothing around here is being worked on. That far gen, it's going to be the issue. Right, let's get her hooked. Let's head over and see what's happening. Is there someone down here by any chance? Nope. Nope. Right. I don't know, I know I said there was nothing with Serge, but I don't know if it was within distance or not. So back to this one, where I think the survivors, especially our Jane, she's healed, she's fully healed as well, so... Right, give us a kick, regret this. Um, there is a survivor around here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Let's see if we've maybe gone for the rescue. Rescue. Oh, there's the rescue. Megan, right. Let's go and give her a little slap. Right, so hit. Right, someone on that gen. They're not moving off that gen either. Brave. Right. To David. He's got the hit there. Don't mind taking a stone. Uh, that gen's quite progressed, so of course. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, he's ran into the dead end again. Right, I got my sedge what I wanted. And we get David hooked up. I think the basement was behind me, but never mind. Was it behind me? Yeah, never mind. Right, get him on here. I'm going to break this wall. And break the other side as well. I think the play might be uh, very concentrated around here, possibly. So, right. I'm gonna kick this as well. Give us a kick. No. Right. It's already said, of course. Give us a kick. And go and see where everyone else is. Rescue's being done. I think they're probably gonna try to get straight back on there. Nurse is calling, wet in the treat. Get that. Who is it? It's Jane again. We'll get the hit on her. Right, you can go mend and make some use out of that med kit, David. Sorry, man, you've just come off the hook, but you are going to have to mend as well. Put the hit there. Get out of my way. Right. Can't see if we're on any of these gens. Nope. They're over here. They're on this gen over here. Two of them, so I'll just get rid of... My powers. It was nearly over with anyway, right. Over here. Meg, oh. That was fortunate for you, Meg. Just keep right, I'll get the hit. I don't really break that pallet, I don't mind it, right. Yeah, we'll go for a little bit of stab. Stab. Someone's going straight on that gen again. Get themselves in there, they're running off. Someone else to the right as well. On the left, this might be a bit too far. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? No. Okay, I need to break this pallet. I need to break this. It has got a bit of a dead zone because I broke the other pallet, so we'll go this way just to stop the iron up the, the vault, which sort of worked. 
I'm guessing someone's going to be on here as well. Okay, I'm right where I want to be. There's David just worked off there, so that Jen is getting worked on. Why did that not hit? Right, didn't lunge far enough, evidently. Get the hit there. I need to stop this Jen. Right, David, you are going to have to get off there, buddy. Oh, and Meg as well. Uh, Meg, Serge, Serge, stay close, stay close, stay close. No dead ad. Where's she gone? No dead ad. Get her back near here. Sedge didn't go off, so I must be out of range. Right. Pick her up. Hook her on. He's missed a skill check. Get her in the middle here. Right. On you go. Can I make this down again? Can I make this? It took a while to get the hook. David, I can see your first aid box. Do you mean? Right. Whiffing a lot. There's a hit. That was really bad movement, David. Put the hit down. And Serge definitely went off this time, so nobody's on here. Oh, Jane. Cheeky. I knew someone was going to be hanging around. Right. Oh, they put the pallet down. I didn't even realise. Put the hit there. Nobody around, so. Leave it amend and we'll get David picked up wherever the hell he's gone. Hi. David, can hear him. Can hear him, can't see him. Right, kick this. Rescue's been done. Ah, thanks. There we go, we've got David. Try and pick him up. Slap him on here. This hook's going to be wore out soon. Right. Second hook for David. Four hooks in total. I'm going to give this a kick because I know Jane touched it. Regress him again. Right. Where are the rest of you gone? Over in this main building, I think. I can hear you. I can hear her. Where are they at? Ah, rescue's been done right. Got the hit on Jane again. Men, it's quite annoying. Right, found the rest of them now. Could be three of them here. I think it is three of them. I don't make this, I don't think. Two up. Yep, get the hit. Right, now go for these guys. Missed. Right, oh, she's left. She's left. No, should you give me a chance? Yes, thank you. Right, on the hook you go. Second hook. So I'm going alright. Not too bad, five hooks. All injured. Oh no, Claudette's in the full health state. So let's see, oh, there's Jane. Jane, stop doing that in front of my face. Right, lots of it down this time eh? Down, Surge value again. Really enjoying Surge lately guys. Really, really enjoying it. The time it takes to not kick a gen. I know a pop still probably one of the meta meta builds, but I've been trying to work out if fusing Surge is better in order to um, save the time and kicking. Leaving me to concentrate on Stabbing and killing. Right, have they hung around here? No. Grab this. Come here, next to my left. Here around here. Oh, there she's there. Uh, right. Get a little stab on her. That was close. <laughs> was extremely close. Right, got everyone again. Survivors mend a simulator for them. I don't make this. It's gonna run out. Oh, I did try to lunge at the last second. Right, at least we get Ninja on her. Get some use out of Thanos. Right, nice, nice turn. Oh, this Jen's being worked on. Got the hit. Right, where are you gonna go now? She's only got a vault. She's only got a vault. Is she gonna go for it? She's gonna go for it. She is gonna go for it. 
Right, yes. Okay, Claudette. Down you go. Sedge went off. I'm hoping it touched that plant, that gem, round the corner as well. Right. Guess where you're going? Back to this middle hook. Reason why I keep using this is just sent out to all the gems I'm wanting to protect. Right, so now I can go over here, check this out. Um, someone around here. David, what are you doing? Right. He's not going for that rescue, surely not. Oh, David. Admirable, but silly. Right, we got him hooked on. I think that's him dead. Is it him dead? Yeah. He gave his life for her. Hope you appreciate it. Right, this gem was done here, the here. Jane, there's no pallet around here, so she's going down, I'm afraid. Pick her up. Can't get it in my favourite hook, but we'll put her here instead. Can't remember. Not a death hook, I don't think. I think it's second, is it second? Yeah, second hook for her. Where's the other one gone? I thought I could hear someone crying. I can hear someone crying. Where are they at? Of course, dead ads. Jay, stop being so impulsive. Oh, they've done another gen. Right, in that middle gen, she goes down here. Right, that means that survivor's got to go for the save now, so we'll get Claudette hooked up here. That survivor should be running past any second now. Is she gone yet? Is she gone? Claudette's dead. Oh, there we go. I think I've seen you there. Is she around here? Around here. Nice. She's not going to go for the rescue, is she? She's going to go for the rescue? Yes, she is. Can I get this before she rescues? Let's get her off. Right. Feels bad for Jane, but I can't ignore this survivor. Right. Go on then, are you gonna go for the oh she's not gonna go for the rescue now because Jane's let go. And I I'm gonna stop this person. Uh, right. Just blood <laughs> bloodlust and I'm bloodlust in here, Meg. Right, got stuck there, she's dead now. Going so quick, right, down she goes. Kick. Pick up. And quite pleased with that. 4k on Badams. One hook to go, so get her hooked up for my 12 hooks. Um, actually, it won't be 12 hooks. It shouldn't, it shouldn't count it really when you don't, um, when someone goes in the second stage. Right, kick this, get some more points, and that's it. Game over. Frenzy, have a little swing. Right, so Merciless Killer, happy with that, two pips. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please give it a quick like, drop a comment, and if you aren't already subscribed, please consider pressing that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and you will be alerted when I release any more videos. All right, thanks, guys.